this is a skill that we practiced in class, and we've done it um, with the previous two chapters that we worked on, addition and subtraction strategies. But this is ways to make a number. So the number they're looking, well, first of all, let's start with number one. They're making 10 here, and the great thing is they give you all different ways to make 10 at, to use as an example. Three add-ins here, two add-ins, a subtraction problem, and then your choice. And they gave you a, uh, an addition problem for that one. For 13, they're looking for three add-ins. And they can all be different. They don't have to be just like the one that I'm going to do. But it does need to equal 13. Whatever three numbers you add up here need to equal 13. So I'm going to choose 5 plus 5 plus 3. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. Here's using two add-ins. Um, I'm going to use 10 plus 3. Here we need to subtract. That means that the number right here in this blank has to be 13 or greater. And we're looking for numbers that are no more than 20. So choose a number between, from 13 up to 20. I think I'll choose 17. 17 minus 4 equals 13. Whatever you have here, the difference would have to be 13. And then here, you can do your choice. I think I'll subtract again. This time, I'm going to use 19. 19 minus 6 equals 13. Remember, yours are not necessarily going to be like mine. There are many different numbers that you can use in these blanks. For 16, well, let's see. I could use 8 plus 8 plus 0. Those are three add-ins that equal 16. I could use down here 10 plus 6. Then a subtraction problem. I could do 17 minus 1. And then um, down here, I'd like to do another subtraction problem. This time I'll do 20 minus 4. For 12, three add-ins. Let's use 3 plus 1. Oops, that's not correct. 3 plus 1 plus 8. That equals 12. Down here, I could use 6 plus 6. That equals 12. Here's a subtraction problem. This time, I'm going to say 15 minus 3. That equals 12. And then I'm going to use another subtraction problem, just because I feel like we used two additions, so I want to use another subtraction, but it could be addition. It doesn't have to be subtraction. And this time I'll do 18 minus 6. And that would equal 12. Down here, don't get confused. Remember, it's just the same thing, just in a different format. This time, you're using only addition. The reason I know, it says have the same sum. So the first thing I'm going to do is look here. 5 plus 7 plus 4 equals 16. So I know that each line um, in this star, for lack of a better word, or this graphic organizer, is going to be 16. So 6 plus 7 is 13. What number do I need to add to 13 to get 16? That would be 3. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus what is 16? That would be 7. And I can check it by going the other way. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 7 plus 7 is 14. 15, 16. Looking at the back. Our usual multiple choice format here. Which way makes 18? Well, I, I just have to think. which what I could think what each one of these is. 4 plus 8, that's 12. 9 plus 0, 9. 11 minus 7 is 4. 8 plus 10, there it is. That's my answer. Which way does not make 9? This time they're trying to trick me. I need to decide which of these does not make 9. So some of them will make 9, and one of them will not. 11 plus 2. That's 13, but let me check the other ones just to be sure. 11 minus 2, that's 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. So this is the only one that is not a way to make 9. Which is the doubles plus 1 fact for 7 plus 7? This is a review question for the doubles plus 1 strategy. Well, 
7 plus 7 is a doubles fact. 7 plus 6 is a doubles minus 1, because that's 1 less than 7. 7 plus 8 would be the doubles plus 1 fact. 6 plus 8 wouldn't work, because there's no 6 in that doubles fact 7 plus 7, so this is your answer. What is the doubles minus 1 fact for 4 plus 4? That's the doubles plus 1. That looks like the doubles minus 1. Let me check here. There are no 4's here, so that doesn't work. And then there's the doubles fact itself, so that doesn't work either. 4 plus 3 equals 7 is the answer. Which subtraction sentence can you solve by using 9 plus 5 equals 14? So I want a related subtraction fact here. That means that my subtraction fact is going to have to begin with the sum. So it can't be this one right here because that doesn't begin with the sum. The other three are possibilities. Well, 7 isn't going to work. That's not related because I don't have a 7 in my original problem. 8, 14 minus 8 is not going to work because, again, I don't have an 8 in my original problem. 14 minus 9 works because, look, I have 14 and I have a 9 here. So I know that the um, difference is going to be 5. You don't have to solve that, but it might help you to figure out which one they're talking about.